Paul Felder, I've known you for about four years since we broke into the commentary booth on Dana White's Contender Series. Um, what about me? Certainly enjoyed. <laughs> you're great. But Paul certainly enjoyed working with you over the last four years and watching your rise to being a true bona fide lightweight contender. But I understand yeah. you have a decision that's been weighing on your mind, so I'll give the floor to you. Yeah, you know, uh, it's it, it's been really since February when I fought Dan Hooker down in New Zealand. Uh, I, I got the fire back a little bit when I fought RDA on five days notice. I thought it was back. And uh, ever since then, I've spent most of my days swimming, biking, and running, and enjoying commentary, and enjoying my time with my family. And I feel like it's gotten to a point where I, I just, um, I, I, I don't have that burning desire to, to fight up for many more years to become the champion. I always said if I don't see that title picture in the next year or so in my future that I would retire and I would do it for my friends, my family, and myself to, to save myself. I'm 37 years old, I feel very fresh. I love the UFC with all my heart for everything that they've given me, for every opportunity I've ever had to be sitting here at this desk, to be working on television, something I've always wanted to do, and I'm going to keep doing this. And I'm retiring officially from the sport of mixed martial arts and from the UFC. Uh, I got as high as number six in the world and got pretty damn close to, you know, fighting for that belt. I fought some of the baddest dudes in this division, and I want to thank all of them as well to all my opponents. And, I want to say uh, my apologies for holding up the division to all the guys behind me and all you young guns out there that are, you know, chomping at the bit to get those fights to fight me to be able to get to the belt. Well, I'm officially stepping down because it, it, it's not right to hold up the division. I wish more people would do this. When it's time, it's time. I feel it. I trust it. I'm confident in it. And, um, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, I wish I had some gloves to kind of chuck up into the <laughs> octagon, but I pretty much did that in New Zealand, and I pretty much meant it back then, and it's been a struggle to get motivated to get back into the gym ever since. So to all my fans and families and everybody that supported me, all you guys and everybody, I love all of you, all the producers, Dana White, the UFC, Hunter, thank you guys so much, Sean Shelby, the matchmakers. From the bottom of my heart, I love this company, and I love everything it's given me and, and the life that it's uh, provided me. So thank you guys so much. and. You'll be seeing me around. You'll see this ugly mug on TV for, for a long time to come. Well, unfortunately, Paul, that is correct. We will be seeing you for quite some time, but I just want to say what a tremendous career. I mean, yes, of course, everybody wants to be the champion, but you became yeah. number six in the world in the toughest sport on the planet. You should hold your head high and be very, very proud of yourself. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you, champ. Thank you. Congratulations, Paul, on a great career. I hear all of the fans out there saying, Darn it, we don't get to watch Paul, Paul get back in the octagon yeah, because, man, yeah. we loved every time you got in there. Gosh you darn. always brought it. But, <laughs> you know, I know a decision like this has been weighing on you heavily, and so congratulations. Yeah. I think you can go with your head held high forward, and luckily, you always have a seat at this table. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.